Hi, this video is all about passion. What is it and how do you find what your passion is? Now, we have a 10 video series going on, right? And those are my 10 top rules for success. In my last video, I talked about definition and how do you define what your success is. But in this video, we are going to talk about what is passion and how do you find what you're passionate about. So if you're interested in learning about rule number two, passion, keep watching. I'm Moonlight Mason and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've been here before and you are learning anything about my top 10 rules to success, I hope you are, then please share this video. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Now let's get into rule number two, which is passion. Now, the first thing we need to know about passion is that it's a feeling. That's what it is. It's a feeling. So if you want to know what passion is, if you're doing your work or if you're performing an activity and you get lost in that activity and time just seems to fly, fly by, right? That is a good indicator that you are passionate about what you're doing. Another indicator of what you're passionate about is, you know, sometimes people come up to you and ask you questions. Like, do you have certain questions that people ask you over and over as if you're an expert in a certain field? That might give you a hint as to what you may be passionate about. Another way to discover some of your passions are, when you were a child, we did, you know, I'm sorry, we did a tip last time on uh, thinking about what were the toys that you played with as a child, or what were some of the games that you played with, because research has shown that when we were children, and what we chose to play with and how we played, that has clues as to when we're an adult, what we are passionate about and how we can merge being passionate into our life's work. So that when you're working, you're having fun and you're not even thinking, it doesn't feel like you're working. What is it that you like to do that lights you up? Think about that. Also, get your journal out and start thinking about like we're gonna, we're gonna go on a little trip with our journal, okay? And you are gonna use your imagination and pretend that you won the lottery or pretend that you've inherited a million dollars. No, a million is not enough. A million to me is not a lot of money. How about a billion? You've inherited or you've won a billion dollars, okay? so. You've got a billion dollars, right? So most people, including myself, want to travel, you want to buy toys, you want to buy a house. And so you start doing that. And you can write down all of your wishes, all the things that you want, the materialistic things. And where do you want to travel to? And what are some of the things that you want to do? Maybe you want to start an animal sanctuary. Maybe you want to help the homeless. Whatever that is, you write it down. And then after you've done all of that, let's say it takes five years or 10 years, it doesn't matter, and you're sitting at home, what are you going to do? Money is no object. Well, wait a minute. You haven't traveled to this other place. So you get up and go travel again and you travel and you travel and you keep exhausting all of the things that are in your mind that you want to do, that you want to experience, that you want to play with, 
before you die. You exhaust all of that in your journal. What are you going to do after all of that is done? Think about it, write down some options. Here's another way to find out what your passions are. Let's say for instance, you did win or you inherited or you have a billion dollars. Okay, you have a billion dollars. You've exhausted all of the travel. You've got all of your toys. You've done your self-help. What is, what's gonna happen? What would you do? What's gonna happen? If you feel a pain in your body, you feel like something's not quite right, you go to the doctor and the doctor says, sorry, you only have like two years to live. What would you do? Now forget about all the stuff that you would do to get well, because we're gonna just take that for granted and that those things are obviously gonna get done if you have a zest for life and you wanna be here. But then what are you gonna do? There's gotta be something that you really want to do or when you die, what do you wanna be known for? What do you want to leave as a legacy? What do you want people to say? Oh, she was blah, blah, blah. He was blah, blah, blah. Whatever that is, those are gonna give you keys to your passion. Hot tip for rule number three, which is expertise. Basically, that means, this is a hot tip that we're gonna go into in video number three. Basically, it means that whatever it is that you wanna succeed at, Whatever it is that you want to do, once you have it clearly defined, and once you know that you're passionate about it, you're going to have to become an expert because you don't want to just know a way, just know enough to get away, to slide on by. That's not going to help you become successful. You'll need to become an expert. This is Moonlight Mason. Comment below, like this video, and I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.